Hi, hello and welcome to another video by the scientist formerly known as the Jelly. Tick tock goes the clock. In this episode, I would like to show you an Arduino-based clock that was integrated into a twin bell alarm clock made from soda cans. The clock is using an Arduino Pro Mini, the DS3231 real-time clock module, the Nokia 5110 LCD display and an 18650 LiPo battery with a charge module. For this project we need three soda cans. For the main structure we take the half liter soda can and remove the lid from the soda can with a can opener. To remove the ink of the soda cans, we place them in a pressure cooker. I already posted a video how to do this, just follow the link in the upper right corner. Remove the top and the bottom from the two smaller soda cans. We need them to make the twin bells. Now take the bottom part and make a strong score line on the inside. With pliers start to separate the aluminum to release the dome. Two component adhesive is then used to fix the dome to the lid. Then make a hole in the middle of the lid. Now we take the bigger soda can, the half liter one, to make the housing. Use calipers to make a score line 67 mm from the top. Reduce the size of the soda can to the score line with scissors. And now we have to combine the twin bells with the main structure. Indicate the hole for the legs in a distance of 25 mm from the front on the bigger soda can. The legs are 55 mm apart from each other. Take a nail to punch the holes. Pay attention on your fingers, I decorated my soda can with blood. The screws are then pushed through the holes. Then we add the cap nut to the legs so it looks nice. For the twin bells the holes are made in a distance of 35 mm from the front. Holes for the twin bells are made 50 mm apart from each other. The 
then you add the twin bells and fix them with cat knots. And the main structure is done. Now we come to the Arduino clock. The wiring is done according to the schematic that is shown here. The connection from the Nokia LCD display to the Arduino is made using the wire wrapping technique. Cut wires in the length of 11 cm and then remove the insulation on both sides. A link to the tools can be found in the description. Insulation has a cutter included that helps you taking away the insulation. 2 cm of the wire is then introduced into the tool. You wrap the wire around the male header pins. Rotate the tool clockwise to begin wrapping the wire around the square header pin. Hold the wire and header pins down with your other hand. Continue rotating the tool so that all of the stripped wire wraps around the pin. Nice! Now continue with all other pins of the LCD display. The only exception is the light. We do not need the backlight. Now we prepare the header pins as indicated on the post-it. Use flocks to facilitate soldering. And here you see where the header pins were soldered to the Arduino Pro Mini. The header pins of the real-time clock module have to be adjusted so they fit into the breadboard. Here you see the organization on the breadboard where the header pins are uh, needed, the real-time clock module and the Arduino. Use jumper cables on the breadboard. And now the wires from the LCD display are connected to either the real-time clock module or the Arduino. The connecting points are given in the upper left corner. Now we add two more header pins to the breadboard and we continue with the wiring.
And then we add again the real-time clock module that was removed to facilitate the wiring. Power supply is the next topic. You see here the organization. We have a battery holder uh, holding the LiPo battery, the charging module and a switch. The charging module is glued to the battery holder using hot glue and in addition also the switch. Connect the battery cables to the breadboard and we are done. To adjust time we need to replace the battery of the real-time clock module. Connect the Arduino download cable to your computer. Search for the Arduino DS3231 master library that you installed previously on your computer. A link to the library is given in the description. And then install the program DS3231 simple on your Arduino. Initially check under tools that you installed the right processor. So the 3.3 volt 8 megahertz one for the Arduino Pro Mini. The port and then upload the code. Immediately go to the serial monitor, open it up and the time from your computer will be uh, transferred to the Arduino. And then enter again the battery for the real-time clock. The code is then uploaded for the uh, clock, so analog clock version 8. Fire it up and here you have it. The code for the clock is given in the description. Now we complete the clock by gluing the battery holder to the Nokia display with adhesive tape. The Arduino and the real-time clock is fixed to the battery holder in the same way. And now we come to the improvements I made to the code. I uploaded version 7 of the code again without the power low function and you see it consumes 11 milliamperes. Compared with version 8 containing the power low function you see that now the clock is consuming 7 milliamperes. By removing the first LED from the Arduino, we save another 2 milliamperes to have 5 milliamperes. Removing the second LED from the Arduino Pro Mini results in 3 milliamperes. And the last LED on the real time clock is removed also, and the result is 1 milliampere. So with the measured current of 1 milliamp per hour and a LiPo battery with around 3000 milliamperes, uh, this clock is working for around 4 months. As a last step, we remove the edges from the uh, Nokia display so it fits perfectly into the soda can. With a little bit of tape we fix the battery holder to the soda can. Uh, this prevents the clock from sliding back. And this is already the final result, our Arduino clock module within this twin bell structure. Hope you like the project. Stay creative and as always, Le Freak, c'est chic.